What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to talk about the basic of Workset. So we're going to share a project using Workset. So the reason why we are using uh, Worksets is that we want to enable the work sharing capability of your Revit. So the reason why we want to activate the work sharing or the work set is that, let's say, for example, your project is too big and it requires multiple team members to work on it simultaneously or at the same time. So you need to activate the work sharing capability of Revit by clicking the work sets here. Okay, so the first part of the exercise, we're going to activate the work sets. So I'm going to click this. Okay, and then after that, by default, you will gonna have two work sets. So you have the work set for your levels and grids, and then you have the default work set one. Work set you can think of as a layer in AutoCAD. Okay, so if I'm going to apply AutoCAD here, so by default, we have two layers. So we have shared levels and grids, and then we have layer work set number one. So all the levels and grids will be placed to this work set. And then all the remaining elements will be moved to your work set number one. Okay, so let's say I'm going to change the name of this. So I'm just going to call this uh, exterior shell. Okay, and then I'm going to select your OK. So once you select OK, this is now your work set dialog box. So I am the owner of that. And then it is editable. So you can edit. Okay, so again, you can think of as layer. So I have layer exterior shell, and then I have layer shared levels and grid. So what I'm going to do here is, let me just resize this. I'm going to create a new work set, or I'm going to create a new layer. So I'm going to select this, and then I'm going to type in here interior layout and visible in all views so i'll just select your okay whoever creates the work set so by default he's going to be the owner or she is going to be the owner of that work set so i'm going to create another one for furniture so furniture layout okay and then i'm going to select okay All right. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to subdivide the project components into work sets. So now that we have created the work sets here or the layers, I'm going to select your OK. So how to subdivide? So I'll just, if you see this dialog box, it says here specify active work set or specify your active layer. By default, our active work set is exterior shell. So if you want the furniture layout to be your active work set, so you can select yes, you can select no. So it's up to you, okay? So I'll just select no for this one. I want the exterior shell to be my active work set. So if you want to change your active work set, just click the drop down arrow here, and then you can select here the work set that you want to make your active work set. So if you are creating furniture, you're putting furniture to your project, so make sure you change your work set to furniture or uh, you are going to place this to a wrong work set if you're going to use exterior shell, if you're going to put furniture, okay? So make sure if you're going to put the furniture, change that to furniture layout, okay? So it's like uh, your current layer, right? So if you're going to create a line for your door, so you need to put that to your door layer. So same here in Revit, okay? So this is how you change your active work set. Okay, so now uh, let's subdivide the project components into work sets. So I'll be using the visibility graphics override. So I'm going to click here, edit, click that. And then what I want to do here is I'm going to uh, clear the visibility of the casework i do not want to see the casework in this project so i'm going to uncheck the casework i'm going to uncheck the the furniture what else so i don't want to see the lighting fixtures as well 
and then the specialty equipment so let's just uncheck that one okay and then on my annotation categories because this is model categories on the annotation categories I do not want to see any tags or any annotation in this floor plan so I'm going to uncheck this okay and then I'm going to select here okay so that's it very simple so it's now invisible to your view so if I'm going to select this wall here if I click that so it is now already on exterior shell right so this is already exterior shell this is exterior shell okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select the interior elements and then I'm going to change the work set because by default it is on exterior shell so I'm going to change the work set or I'm going to change the layer I'm gonna put that to uh, interior layout so let's select interior layout for that there you go and then just click outside so if I click this so it's now on interior layout work set so that's it so if you know the layer in AutoCAD so there's a similarity of work set and uh, layer in AutoCAD okay so now the next thing that we will be doing so let us uh, go to the visibility graphic overrides again so I'm going to edit again this time since we already activate the work set so there is a new tab that will appear here work sets because if you don't have work sets in your project you will not be able to see the work sets tab okay so I'm gonna click this so these are now our work sets so what I'm gonna do here is as you as you will notice all the work sets here their global setting here is uh, visible so let's say in this view I do not want to see the interior layout so this is my interior layout so I'm going to click the drop down here and then I'm going to uh, hide my interior uh, layout okay so I'm going to select here hide just like that and then I'm going to select here apply as you can see it's now uh, hidden okay and then I'm going to select here okay so that means all the elements that we have selected a while ago it's now uh, transferred to the work set of interior layout okay so if any elements of your interior uh, layout is not uh, added to your work set so you just need to select that and then change again the work set from the properties very simple okay so now the next thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm going to specify the furniture layout so I want to place the furniture to my uh, furniture layout work set so to do that I'm going to click the bulb here to reveal the hidden elements I'm gonna click that and then as you can see these are the hidden elements these red colors here same with the tag so those are hidden elements so for this one I'm going to select all these elements which is my furniture so this is my furniture so I want that to be placed on furniture layout so let's select furniture layout and then I'll select here apply okay and then I'm going to select here unhide uh, category to show these elements and then I'll just select toggle reveal hidden elements mode and that's it so if I'm going to select this element here, you will notice that the layer or the work set for that is now furniture layout. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do here is let me uh, hide the work set uh, furniture. So you know that already. So you just need to go to visibility graphic override. So you go to work sets. So let us hide our... Uh, furniture layout so let's click the drop down let's hide it and then okay and that's it okay so that's how you uh, hide it so now the next thing that we'll be doing so let us turn on our interior uh, layout okay so let's turn on the interior layout so 
let's check the work set here. Work sets. Okay, so these are our work sets, right? So we have exterior. Again, if you want to add, you just need to select new. Okay, so let me cancel this and then let me go back again to my visibility graphic overrides. Work set for the interior layout. I'm going to show that and then okay. And there you go. So after, let's say you already created all the work sets. You already transferred the elements to the proper work set. Okay, so let us now create a central file. So to create the central file, I'm just going to save this first, save that. And then as you can see, there is this save file as central model dialog box. So this is the first time that the project has been saved since work sharing was enabled. So this project will therefore become the central model. So do you want to save this project as the central model? So yes, so I want this to save as a central model. So I'm just going to save this to my uh, uh, folder. Okay, so it's now already saved. So this is now my central model. So this project is now ready to be shared to our team members. So from the central model, which is this one, so let's say I will be doing the furniture layout. Okay, so I'm going to close this one. Let's say I'm the B manager first. So I already set up this project. I already created the central file. I already created the work set that my team members uh, need to use for the project so they can collaborate. They can do the modeling. So I'm now going to close this. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is, let's say I am now the BIM modeler. So I'm going to create a local file. Local file is a copy of your central file. The central file is saved to the cloud or it is normally saved to your network. So if you are using BIM 360 or Autodesk, uh, construction cloud so you save your central file to the to the cloud so if you're just going to use your network so you can save your uh, central file to the network so that your other team members will be able to ac uh, access it and create a local file so let's say I am now the beam modeler and I need to create a local copy of the central file so how to do that so you just need to select open and then this is my central file so I'm going to select that and I'm going to select here open. Wait, hang on. So where is my model? Let me just open my central first. Okay, so this is the central file. So let me just open this one. Or is it? Mm -mm -mm. let us see because it's still updating so I think I have opened the wrong file so let me just cancel this one and then look on my documents okay so open let's check my documents oh, okay so it's not here hmm. so where's that one so let me just go back again here let me click this it's saved. Oh, okay, so there you go. So the local copy save path will be saved to my documents. Okay, so my central model is already saved on that folder, chapter 6, M work set start, that RBT. So that's the central file. So the local copy will be saved to uh, good R documents. So I'm going to click this. Okay, and then. I'm going to uh, create a local copy. So by opening the central model, you will create a local copy of it. So that's it. So you are creating a local copy from the central model. So just select OK. So this is now your local copy. So you will know that this is your local copy if you see the name of your computer there. That is your Autodesk ID, which is this one, right? So I am now the B modeler. So that's my uh, Autodesk name. Or username so I can now start doing my uh, interior layout so I'll just make sure that the current uh, work set that I'll be using is interior layout okay so basically that's the 
that's the surface of your work sharing. So that's the basic way of work sharing. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.